What's going on, guys? It's Brian Jack with Some Men's Comics, and this is probably one of our favorite shows we like to record, and with that is the Last Call show. That's right, Last Call. It's the final time you can get those orders in for comic books before they hit that final order cutoff this coming Monday night, August 10th. But before we get into those picks, Jack, we have some books ourselves we'd like to talk about, right? That's right. We've got some books available on SimplementsComics.com, as well as our uh, channel partner, the 616comics.com. We've got some exclusive variants, and we told you guys we were going to be rolling out exclusives, and I promise you, you haven't seen anything yet. We are going to keep these releases dropping, but we have so much more. And there's a book on the list tonight, Brian, that you just may be seeing a Simplements Comics variant in the next week. Yes. We'll get into that in a minute, but for now, let's get into the picks for Final Order Cutoff. Starting with the first one from Marvel, we have Black Widow number one. Bunch of covers for this. I like that Adam Hughes, and I like that J. Scott Campbell, but there's some other ones as well. Tell us more about this one, Jack. Me too. You know, my initial reaction to this, Brian, is kind of negative. I look at this like a cash grab series. Again, I like Black Widow, but I haven't seen a lot of energy and effort invested into the reader buzz development of a lot of these kind of Marvel female character stories. Um, I'd say outside of maybe Spider Gwen, they tend to be used as cover art fodder because you get the J. Scott Campbell cover, because you get the Adam Hughes cover. And we saw that with Black Widow, but, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Black Cat. But I will admit that as that Black Cat series went on, people started telling me, hey, this series actually is pretty good. Did you check it out? Went back and read it. And I agree. So, this one will be interesting. I think that the variant covers are going to get all of the attention early on. It'll be interesting to see if what happens on the interior of the book can support what's going to go on in the covers. Yeah, I agree. I'm anxious to pick this up. Hope the story is as good as some of those cover art. But time will tell. I'm, the last couple Black Widow series, it's one of those ones that like, I like the story, but it wasn't like super great. The covers yeah. carried the story, I think. But either way, that's coming out. Hitting FOC this Monday night. The next one we're going to talk about, we used to talk about these books quite a bit before the whole COVID pandemic, but they're back now. We are talking about Marvel Tales, Captain Britain number one. This is one that carries a little heftier cover price, but it also has that kick-ass in Hickley Virgin variant that got hot as well as those Jim Bartel ones, right? Right, and then we're gonna see that happen again because again, $7.99 cover price on a Marvel Tales book, you're talking about $4 wholesale for most retailers, meaning that to get a one in 50, they've gotta spend at least $200. So you're, you're heavily invested in trying to get those Virgin um, Ink Yuck Lee variants or previously the Jim Bartel variants. So you're gonna see high asking prices uh, across the board on that. Even. Captain Britain is a character that I would expect to see even less of these issues ordered than the several others. Remember, this is a reprint book. It's going to reprint stories um, that have been previously told. Probably you'll get Captain Britain's first appearance and maybe, you know, how he integrates into the MCU type stuff, stories that, you know, things that they can pull from. Um, it's a great indicator that we're going to see more Captain Britain. Um, I, I certainly think that people are high on Captain Britain, but I don't see this one doing too much other than maybe uh, the incentive getting some heat just, just because of the scarcity. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a cover art and scarcity pick. But if you, the viewer, are a fan of Captain Britain, I know there's some out there. Let us know in the comments. Getting over to Boom Studios, we get that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 54. We like Power Rangers, of course, but like we said at the beginning of this video, we have our own Draken variant, but with that ongoing issue of number 54, right? We're coming towards the end? That's right. We're coming towards the end. 55 is the end. Um, yeah, you mentioned Draken New Dawn. We've had the Ranger Slayer one shot. We've got the upcoming um, Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers individual series. But here's the thing. They're all, that's all the same story. That's all combined. It's all relevant, and it's all been going down. We have the return of the original Draken, kind of defeated. We're waiting to see where kind of his place is going to be. Uh, you've got the Omega Rangers. You've got the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You've got these new Dark Rangers being commanded by a very evil Lord Zed. So much is going on. It's exciting. It's a good time to be a Power Ranger fan. Um, so I think 54 is going to be a great, almost uh, penultimate issue to kind of like lead up to 
where we're going to end up. But stay tuned for issue 55. I think there's going to be some heat on that. Rumors about a new Green Ranger have been circulating. Looks like uh, the team is going to finally kind of add that member. And stay tuned because we said Simpleman's Comics is going to be doing Power Ranger variants. We're not just dabbling. We're committed. Uh, you are going to see something coming from us for issue number 55 for sure. Hitting you with back-to-back boom books. This is that new Al Ewing story, that good space cinematic. Al Ewing's creator-owned, we only find them when they're dead, number one. That's right. And before I tell you about this book, I will tell you and give you away the spoiler that this is the book I was talking about that you are going to see an announcement from us about in the next week. We knew when Boom Studios announced Tom Taylor and Al Ewing were coming onto the team, that these were books we had to get involved in. So Stay tuned for the Two Brothers YouTube channel. Uh, Two Brothers Comics, great YouTube channel. Uh, and they are going to be doing some announcements for us on some upcoming creator-owned series. And you're going to want to check that out this week. So make sure you are subscribed to those guys. But we only find them when they're dead. Seems like a long mouthful of a title. And certainly you see that with the trade dress on cover A. But story sounds super cool. Uh, feeding off of uh, kind of the, the essence of God's. Uh, you know, and, they, and then this team of kind of almost scavengers, similar to like a, a Gardens of the Galaxy type, is going out and uh, they're finding these gods. They always find these gods dead, and the captain is determined to find a live god. Um, this looks like an epic kind of cosmic uh, space odyssey. Art looks amazing. You've got it's like amazing- a space Herman Melville, uh, Moby Dick almost. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. And, and, and it's got kind of the art, it, it, it's, it's very colorful. It almost reminds me um, Christian Ward. I know he's doing some of the work there. It's, it's that kind of aesthetic. It feels very big too, coming from a creator-owned book. And I think that's going to be the success of this book, as well as Seven Secrets, is that both of these feel very elevated, um, very big in scale. Uh, and we mentioned Boom Studios has a first look deal at Netflix. And there were reports just this week that Netflix wants their own uh, sci-fi space kind of cinematic franchise, similar to Star Wars. They want their own kind of Star Wars brand. I think that bodes well for a, a property like this. This book is going to get a lot of attention. There's that Jenny Frizen 1 in 50 variant. Uh, you got a 1 in 25 variant, a 1 in 10 variant. All of those books are going to get attention. Getting back over to Marvel for a second, we get that Marvel Zombies resurrection. Seems like zombies are all the craze right now between Marvel Zombies, DC Deceased. We even got that upcoming Dynamite from Dynamite. But Marvel Zombies seems to be the OG zombies almost, right? That's right. Marvel said, you know, guys aren't going to all cash in on this zombie craze without letting us get back in here. So, you know, they're bringing the whole Marvel Zombies program back, but kind of got a little stop start with the pandemic. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not the heat can kind of carry through. Now, we've been talking for over a year that horror is hot. We're certainly coming into the time of the year when you want to be kind of releasing these horror projects as we will be approaching Halloween before you know it. But it's one of those things. Um, I've never been a big Marvel Zombies fan. Uh, it was a little bit before I got back into collecting when I kind of left for a while. So doesn't really hit with me, but I, I'm interested to know. What do you guys think? I know there's a lot of great variants to chase, but is this a, a book and a series you'll actually be reading? Now we want to take that time real quick, though, to shift over to that indie showcase portion of this show presented to you by BlackCapeComics.com. BlackCapeComics.com, they specialize in these indie books. That's why we have the indie showcase form. But all the books that we've talked about in this video are available to pre-order at blackcapecomics.com to get those order in for FOC. But we like to highlight these ones because it fits their specialty, starting with that Grendel, Kentucky number one from AWA Upshot. Yeah, at some point, you've got to get on these AWA Upshot number ones. These are essentially uh, movie treatments. This is a company that is trying to, very similar to like Red 5 Comics, they are trying to develop properties that they hope can be IP for Hollywood. Um, and it, the company's run by Axel Alonso, the former head of Marvel Comics. They definitely know what they're doing. They're loaded with a bunch of A-list talent. We've already seen what some of their uh, previous releases 
have kind of shot up in the secondary market already. I I think that's going to be a trend we're going to see continue. So definitely something uh, to be on the lookout for when you're go- going to your shop for the comic book day, but especially if you're putting those FOC orders in. This is one that, you know, it, your shop may not have a heavy stock on these types of books. So make sure you're heading to blackkidcomics.com or wherever you buy your comics. But black, we recommend blackkidcomics.com. Great store, great group of people. And you can save some money by getting your order in before FOC. Yeah, I like talking about these books because we talked, we were high on them before COVID and we were worried about that momentum, right? Because they released all these number ones like right before the whole shutdown ended. And then when it started ramping back up, we're like, man, we hope they can keep that momentum. I would admit we're almost a little bit skeptical, but I was glad we were wrong. What those year zero books are going for crazy money. This looks like another great story. <laughs> it's Rednecks and Marijuana, man. So I'm definitely <laughs> picking this up. I'm excited to read it. The next one we're talking about in the showcase, we are talking about that Horizon Zero Dawn number two. We just saw issue one release. We talked about the hype and the crossover between the comic books and the video game, kick-ass video game. We've talked about plenty of times on this channel. If you haven't played it on and you have a PlayStation 4, definitely pick that game up. I tell you, you'll love the game, and I love picking up the book after it. Had a lot of Peach Momoko hype for number one. Those are great art gym covers. We have more Peach Momoko for number two, but I actually like cover A. We got that Jung Young Yoon cover and the cover C on this, and they also have those game variants, right? That's right, and I, I really think that long-term that uh, this is gonna be a series that people are gonna be interested in. I think Titan Comics saw the interest in number one and kind of doubled down because it was right after the uh, kind of initial pre-order interest for number one that Titan Comics announced that Peach Momoko would be doing the cover A's for issue two, three, and four uh, in the series. So the entire series done by um, Peach Momoko. And on top of that, you know, you're seeing kind of an increase in like some variant name, uh, cover artist names getting involved. So definitely think that this is a series to pay attention to. There will be less attention on number two, of course, than number one, less printed. Um, usually there's about a 50% drop off in print run, and that could lead to some of these very desirable and um, kind of uh, escalating value. So this is definitely one to look at pre-FOC. Definitely hit up blackcapecomics.com, but also stay tuned and pay attention to our channel sponsor, frankiescomics.com, who will be doing exclusive virgin covers of all of the Peach Promoco uh, cover art for this entire series. Yeah, this is another reason why I like this series. Also, one great game. I enjoyed the first issue, but if you, especially if you can get a cover price right now, keep them. We talk about selling in sets. We yes. know... PlayStation 5, there's another Horizon game on the horizon. So you wait that lull out, that game comes out, there's some popularity, there's another chance to, for that to hit again. That's just my opinion. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm buying it to read, I buy some also, and I expect to get some more hype again when that new game comes out, whenever the PlayStation 5 releases. Probably early next year with this game, but either way, people are going to play the new game and want to go back and read the series again. Especially if you have it as a set to sell, we always talk about selling in sets. Yeah, and when people, when the new game comes out, I imagine there'll probably be another mini series, especially with the success of this one thus far. Yeah, and if they're um, smart, they'll have like a collector's edition with a comic, as well as a lot of talk about movie buzz. So there's a lot going for this property. And here from Dark Horse, we have Spy Island number one. This is going to be a four issue mini series, right? That's right. And there's been a lot of negative news about Dark Horse with the loss of some of their licensed properties to Marvel and some of the downsizing of the company and talk that maybe the company's in a little bit of flux. But this book could be coming at a perfect time because there was a lot of buzz in this book uh, for a while. It got kind of pushed back. Uh, now it's finally coming out. And remember, the thing about Dark Horse is they also, like Boom Studios, have a first look deal with Netflix. And we haven't seen anything come of that. But there was some heat on some of these Dark Horse number ones. It'll be interesting to see if some of that will return with the release of a brand new series. Yeah, it seems like every now and then Dark Horse puts out a zinger, right? I mean, when they kind of catch you with left field. You never know. This one that seems interesting to me, I'm picking up more from a reader standpoint. But every now and then they have one that just comes in, bottom of the ninth, two outs, and hits a home run. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up the Indie Showcase portion of this show. Brought to you by BlackCapeComics.com. Again, 
all the books we've talked about here you can pre-order from blackcapecomics.com as well as the one we highlighted for this indie showcase and again they also have prints available on their website make sure you guys check those out but like we always do and the part that most people tend to tune out to we have some additional printings right that's right another uh, lengthy list of additional printings but definitely some books to highlight so make sure you get those pre-orders in especially on these uh late printings in before foc again blackcapecomics.com great source to get those pre-orders in and the first one we're going to talk about is an indie book it's ice cream man number 20 now we just talked about with before foc ice cream man doing a dr seuss homage for number 20 for a cover b now they're coming back with a second print and they're doing another dr seuss homage sure to be hot make sure you get those orders in for that one We've also got Hedra, an image one shot, the second print uh, for it. Um, Canto and the Clockwork Fairies coming with a second print. That's definitely one to pay attention to. My Little Pony and Transformers, the crossover you never saw coming. Number one, the second print. Uh, Captain Marvel, number 18, big first appearance there, coming with a second print. Thor, number five, of course, we know the heat with Black Winter there, coming with a third print. Venom 27, another hot book, coming with a second print. Wolverine, number two, coming with a second print. And Seven Secrets, number one, coming with a second print ahead of Seven Secrets, number one, releasing next week. So that's definitely one to pay attention to. That indicates the heat. And stay tuned for a big announcement from Two Brothers Comics. So there it is, guys. There's our picks. There's additional prints as well. Hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night, August 10th. Make sure you guys contact your LCS. Make sure you get your orders in online. Make sure you check out blackcapecomics.com. Make sure you check out frankiescomics.com. They are also going to be having some final order cutoff orders there in the very near future. But with that being said, guys, tune in to Two Brothers Comics. Make sure you subscribe because they got a pretty big announcement. We're not talking about one book. We're talking about multiple books. Two Brothers Comics, YouTube, subscribe, check them out. Make sure you click that bell so you get notified of their videos. With that being said, this is Brian Jack with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.